Hi, Erin's. Julia here, recording this. September 22nd, I think. 2022. And, uh, we've been having some rain. And getting a lot of green around here. Nice, cool morning. Supposed to get even cooler soon. But yeah, I was going to talk about how basically there's two types of people these days in some respects. And that's uh, people who are aware <clears throat> and working on themselves and those that are oblivious and just uh, spend all their spare time uh, entertaining themselves or self-medicating. So, uh, yeah, it's very interesting to see those dynamics. And then there are those people that kind of pretend that they're self-aware and working on themselves because they see other people doing that and the results they're getting, but they don't want to really follow through with the work. So they just uh, kind of pretend that they're working on themselves, but it's obvious who is and who isn't. And if you are one of those who's working on yourself, which you probably are if you're listening to this, then uh, be sure and celebrate your victories. Because I know when we're doing our shadow work, emotional healing work, <clears throat> and again, if that's all new to you, you can find emotional healing playlist on this channel. Cool rock. And, um, yeah, when we make these victories, past these milestones, you know, we need to take notice of them and uh, celebrate our victories. Give ourselves some pats on the back sometimes when we made it through a day, you know, without falling off the wagon, so to speak, of healing. And just staying in line and having that perspective of how you were, say, 10 years ago compared to now probably a big difference and if you're actually really working on yourself the next 10 years will be even more of a difference all in the positive sense and I was listening to Tom Campbell this morning and he was saying how anytime you have negative emotions that means you're not coming from a place of unconditional love and giving because if you're really giving and being love other people's actions aren't going to affect you you don't take anything personal because there's no ego in there so uh yeah i thought that was interesting that uh, if you're having any kind of negative emotions whether you get angry or upset you know, say someone lies to you or broke a promise or something, and you get upset, that shows that you still have some work to do because your ego's involved in that. I think what he's trying to say is we all just need to let other people have their space and figure it out on their own and not be offended when they um, do things that we prefer that they not do <laughs> because everybody's on their own journey and uh, the best thing we can do for anyone is uh, hold space and set examples because uh, I'm learning the hard way <laughs> still about a lot of things that you can't make people see the error of their ways so to speak and then try to guide them to correct it. That just doesn't work that way. Now, if someone's asking you for advice, that's one thing, you know, if they're sincere. Often people aren't sincere, and you can figure that out pretty quick, too. But, yeah, everybody just has to uh, get to that point on their own if they're going to get to it. So, um, I think that's really good advice, because... 
for I and a lot of us are always trying to tweak the people around us and even the area around us often. I know a lot of people will go in and rearrange people's furniture and things like that and just redo stuff that other people are doing because they think the way they do it is better. So, uh, yeah, it's, we, it's a tricky thing to pull the ego out of everything and just be in a love state. And uh, Tom Campbell's always saying, if it's not unconditional, it's not love. It's manipulation. If you, well, I love this person, but there's all these restrictions and requirements out of them for you to maintain that love for them, then that's not really love. So, yeah, it's tricky in today's culture to actually be love. But if you have that intention to ultimately get there and you kind of fake it till you make it, then it will happen. You know, and uh, Tom Campbell was also talking about being kind and if you're if you're not being generous from the being level if you're just doing it because you think that's what you're supposed to do those are two different things so um, but again he said that if you have the intention to ultimately be kind from the being level actually be kind and not just act kind then it will eventually manifest that way if you keep putting the work into it. It is something that you can fake it till you make it with as long as you have that intention to ultimately get there. So yeah, I mean <clears throat> if we just hold space for people who still need work and healing then uh, that's going to be much more effective than us trying to come in and uh, point out the error of others' ways, and then try to correct them. Hey, guys. <laughs> I heard something over here. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. And I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And <laughs> watching these dogs. There are some other dogs we've seen out here recently. And always remember, focus on what you want, don't worry, and uh, help others if you can. Be kind, be loving from the being level, hold space for others, and thanks again for listening. Ciao, ciao.